So WWE made one big mistake at SummerSlam. And it wasn't the fact that they unveiled the WWE Universal Championship that is red. It was the fact that they did it before the match because it took out a lot of the crowd from the match. Here's the thing. I know we want a sick championship belt that's going to make everybody ooh and ah. But I'm one of the people that are actually going to defend the belt. And here's why. As a wrestling fan my whole life, I cared more about the people that won the belt than the actual title itself. I heard it growing up the whole, my whole time was this belt was the best because it's the, the Brahma Bull title. The Stone Cold version. Everybody hated John Cena's belt because it was associated with John Cena. And unfortunately, it took away from some of the glory of being WWE champion because they held, quote unquote, such an ugly belt. Do you remember those days when CM Punk finally won the title and everybody said, but it's a stupid spinner belt? Yeah, but he's the biggest thing in the company. See, here's where we differ. I honestly don't care what it looks like. Now, Mick Foley, who's the GM of Raw now, has Holy Foley, made a post about it and was really disappointed with the fans. I would say I'm a little bit more disappointed with the fact that WWE did it before the match, but I kind of understand it. Right when the match is over, you want to be able to give him the belt and let him celebrate. Unfortunately, not knowing what the belt would look like created a lot of unease for some people. A lot of people thought they would unveil something sick and new, while I had said for the longest time that it would be the same championship, and I was just hoping you would have red accents versus being a red strap. If you go back to my Universal title design video, and I talked about the championship, it is perfectly fine to me that it's the same belt. Now, I know a lot of people are going to get upset about this. This is essentially belt creator in 2K16, they say. You're essentially just changing the color, and that's all you're doing. I have a real problem with the fact that the WWE now has three belts that are the same thing but a different color because the women's championship is white, the other championship is the normal one, and now the universal championship is red. This is wrong. This is bad. Wow, how could WWE do such a thing? But I look at it a different way. Now, some people may not agree with this, but when you're a company, especially now that they're getting ESPN coverage, you do not see a UFC championship belt or the UFC audience bitching and complaining about what that title looks like. They all have the exact same belt. And the usual response is, but Tubby, this is WWE. This is entertainment. We need the flashiness. We need No, you don't. No, you don't. I get it. I would love to have a different title design. But now that we have a brand split, let's say come NBA Finals or come MLB Finals, we have a team that wins. WWE in the past has always sent a title over to one of the teams. It's always been the basic WWE title design, the new one, the World Heavyweight Championship. Now what happens when they win? Whose belt do they send? Do they send the Universal title or do they send the uh, SmackDown World Heavyweight Championship, the WWE Championship? And what does the team promote? Which one do they use? Do they use both? Is that a stupid rationale for why I enjoy the belts? Because we need more casual fans if we want to see WWE grow. The hardcore fans have already maxed out the WWE Network numbers. If we want more shows, more events, bigger things to happen within the company, more signings of talents for people we adore, we need casual fans. We need the people that come to the arena to see people like Roman Reigns. We need the ladies that bring their kids and ooh and ah over him. We need the people that just come to have a great time. See, at WWE SummerSlam this year, just like at WrestleMania when I was in the suite, something happened. Right next to me was a group of kids. Yes, the suite at SummerSlam, just like WrestleMania, was filled with kids. Kids with John Cena shirts, a Roman Reigns shirt, people that booed, cheered, and just reacted to what they saw. I can't imagine they're sitting there looking at a dirt sheet going, oh, that title, oh, it's going to be the same thing. The only thing that I saw the whole night was that they were truly invested in one that they saw. As a kid, if I would have been reading dirt sheets, I would have been a cynical asshole, and I probably would have hated what I was watching on TV. My favorite memories were because I didn't care if it was real or fake, or at the time, I didn't know it was real, or know it was fake. I just looked at it as, this is fucking awesome. Now, a lot of that has to do with the stuff they put on TV being a three-hour show may not be as entertaining, may not be able to hold your attention, but I never once as a kid said, look at that belt. The ugliest belt in the world was the Hardcore Championship. 
or the tag team panty belts, but, you know, that's, for, that's debatable. The hardcore belt was thrown together. As Mick Foley would state in his Facebook post that the hardcore title was just scraps of metal, just stuff thrown together, and ultimately, it was supposed to be a rip. But that belt went on to be one of the favorite belts that the WWE had because of the title itself, what it represented, and what you got out of it. Now, I posted a tweet today that it shouldn't matter what it looks like, forgetting that Seth Rollins, because I was at the event live, I didn't see him tweet it. And I went straight to the uh, bar afterwards with 2K and partied until I got on the airplane. So I didn't get to see that tweet, but I do know what they're talking about. And I understand their frustrations. But again, it's the title. It's the people that hold it that make the title. I care more about the fact that Finn and Seth put on one hell of a match. Finn continued that match even after he was injured, popped his own socket back in, and showed the true heart of the champion. And the fact that we as fans took that moment kind of away from him because we didn't like what the belt looks like kind of devalued Finn's push. I mean, let's be honest. People have been begging and wanting Finn to come up to the main roster, and that was overshadowed because of the fact that you hate create a belt. You hate create a title. And you just care more about that than you probably do Finn Balor. And to me, as a wrestling fan, and somebody that does this on YouTube, kind of sucks. Because I love Finn, and I loved what he has to do. And the fact that that was overshadowed just because it was a red belt just really rubbed me the wrong way. Now, that may make me sound kind of bad, or it may not sound good. But let's be honest here. This man continued... And fought for the biggest prize in the industry. With a pretty major injury that's now required him to relinquish his title. And the shining highlight of the night was the fans booing that title. Not his performance. I mean sure we were happy when he actually won. But then they got him holding the title. And fans weren't huge on it. Which again sucks. It really does. Now going forward. I hope it doesn't really matter. I hope people can overlook the title and stop bitching and complaining, and hopefully we get it. And let's be honest, if Roman Reigns wins it anyway and you think he's garbage, well, him having the title is probably a good thing for you. I kid, I kid, I actually kind of like Roman Reigns. Last night he's like, I don't give a f- And that was his mantra, and that's what he's going to do. That's what I want him to do, not give a shit. And hopefully we see more of that. Side note, if the Authors of Pain were teamed up with Roman Reigns to combat the club, oh, just saying, Authors of Pain in NXT. So when it comes to championship belt design, guys, let's take a step back. Let's just chill out, calm down, and realize just because the belt looks like that doesn't mean it's the end of the world. Yes, I said this once before, and I'll say it again. If it was going to be the same belt, it should not have been a red strap. Behind the logo could have been red. Maybe not behind the logo, maybe some accents on the belt could have been red. Did the actual leather itself have to be pitch red? No. Did it have to be a different design? Maybe, maybe not. But ultimately, again, it's the people that hold the title. And as a wrestling fan, if it continues that just when somebody wins it because you dislike the actual look of the title, and that's more important to you than the person that worked their ass off to get it, I just have to ask that why are you watching? I mean, if you care more about the title, create a federation in universe mode, compete for it, and win that awesome title. If you care about the superstars, overlook the belt design, overlook its lack in flaws, which you don't like, and just realize, you know what, WWE is going to do whatever the hell WWE wants to do anyway. And to me, I get why they use the same design. UFC does it, and they're worth $4 billion. They sold out, and everybody always makes comparisons. WWE, little over a billion dollars, needs to change some stuff up. They got coverage on ESPN, and when you're getting coverage on ESPN now, something they never used to get because of how quote-unquote fake it was, well, a little bit more unique, or title design, which UFC and WWE fans are used to, kind of makes sense. If I'm watching ESPN for the first time, and I see the belts are kind of similar, but I love UFC, maybe I make a correlation, maybe I don't. But ultimately... It does not matter to me. That belt could be the hardcore title. It could be thrown together. But ultimately, if Kevin Owens, after so long, wins that belt, I will overlook every single part of it because what it took to win that belt is more important than the actual look of the belt itself. This is a new championship. This is a new era. And the fact that it was overshadowed because you didn't like the design just kind of sucks. 
And I'll be honest, going forward, whoever holds that title, I hope it's not held over their head. I hope because WWE went with the same design, it's not going to end up wrecking some reigns. Ha, that's not a pun. I wonder what you guys think of the title design. Do you understand why they had the same title belt? Are you against it? Would you have liked to see something new? If so, in WWE, create a championship. Send it to me. Show it to me. Let me know what you would want the title to be, and you can send that to me at Tubby Emu. Until next time, we will see you all later.